surprise burst, but uh, speaking of surprise burst... Yeah, in comes Ray's. Level 3 this time, it's still able to pick up the first blood. It's going to be Secret that grabs it. And some help you'd imagine, but for now, they're just trying to make a play bot side. I think Roach is in a time-buying situation. Yeah, he's just watching it all just get worse. If he does stop watching himself up, thankfully the Cannon Barrage is there to help him. Is There's the Nethergrass underneath the turret is Ignar, but he is able to flash himself out. Spirit's Refuge once again going to be out of sight. Like we saw on the top side, things are looking pretty good as well. Roach has a lot of enemies to face. He does once again. He is a bit used to this as he does eat some oranges, and it looks like he will actually be K. Attempts to dive, failing for BBQ. Edge. Speaking of which, gets the knock up. There's the chain CC we were looking for as Edge picks that kill up. First time. Um, I'm not even sure. Roach is going to be able to at least shoot this barrel down. He can get out of this if he wants to. Cannon Barrage is back in, though. There's a Hextech ultimatum. Roach, will he actually be safe? No, he won't. Ah, uh, crazy. Uh, okay. For now, at least, hasn't met much. Just, all right, this would be a good start. Yeah, ultimatum does come in. And we've got Ignar. He's going to pay a visit with that Stand United. Now Roach has nowhere to go. Teleport is coming in. But this one could be dangerous. Finds himself a cheeky barrel, and he's still alive somehow. Thankfully, Crazy's able to pick that one up as secret. Can he get the stun? No, but he does get the headbutt. And Edge is turning up. He's seeing whether he can find it, but nope. Nethergrass and the four. We have to know what the limit is, right? Yes, exactly. See what you can get away with. We might see some limits pushed right now. Yep, Sol is in a bit of trouble here as the kidnap's not actually going to fly forward. Crazy in trouble as Sol flashes after him. Grabs his first kills. Now Trick's in trouble going to get separated and most likely destroyed. Sol wants to grab that kill as quickly as possible and Edge Two people, is going to be... including the Shen. So the Alistair are ready to go to defend him. Nothing they can do to repel the Baron. Script to this game, I swear. They're deciding exactly what happened. It looks so happened. juicy, Atlas. They're yeah, like, let's it was get perfect. In there. Let's hope there's not three people in the brush. Well, everyone was there waiting for the Camille and the Zac to initiate. They knew they didn't have vision of everything, but uh, you see a blue ward. The other one is Sol. He's just turreting against the turret. Crazy's going to make his way down. They're actually looking to try and kill Roach, but they're going to lose their base for this. Like I said, yeah, he can run around the outside, and he's even able to flash out, so he'll be fine. They take the inhibitor. that I've ever seen, given the fact that there are no inhibitors available and there's a rise on the bottom side of the map. Trick jumps his way over, but he's Precious. just going to immediately... But Yeah, there were a lot of a lot of ways to get rid of the Zac. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That does make some sense. I'm talking about sorry, I'm just going to take this one down. Crazy, looking for a bit of a flank as Ingo's Trick finally able to find something, but is it going to be enough? Big kidnap onto three, but they're tanky members. Everyone's just getting ripped apart. BBQ with no options at all. It's going to be Trick falling down first. Ghost, cute little flash QSS to get himself out of the way, but that's just going to get himself onto the fountain and away from the safety, or away from saving his base, which is getting torn apart. Soul free hitting. The Nexus is now open. Kongdu Monster, another incredibly impressive victory, this time against a new and improved BBQ. But only game one, we'll see whether they can keep it up. But it is their third game of LCK Spring, their third victory in a row. And Kongdu Monster may very well leave week one of LCK unblemished, 4-0. and oh, That is how good they've been playing. BBQ did not make massive mistakes here, but they were so dictated to by what Kongdu Monster was doing that they could never really pose any threat. Kongdu was in control of this game from so early. The draft had options for both teams. The game did not. And Kongdu Monster have looked oh so impressive. Their offseason must have been incredibly impressive, drilling in the team ethos and the playstyle to their members because everyone's on the same page. And it just feels like Ray's was such a good pickup. This guy looks brilliant, just fitting into the roster so, so nicely.